All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new tutorial. And um, today I'm just going to be teaching you how to do a gradient sort of UI. So, so uh, yeah, let's start. All right, so first things first, I just add it in a gradient wallpaper and uh the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my rounded rectangle tool right over here and uh i just made the radius three pixels i'm gonna make a new layer so just hit this button it's the second one from the the right side and now i'm just gonna click and drag actually i'm gonna change this to five actually i'm gonna change this to about ten I'm just gonna drag out just like that go back to your move tool now you want to hit control a this is going to make a selection around your canvas now you can just hit these two buttons and it's going to align it in the center of the selection now you just want to hit control D that deselects any selection all right so now I'm gonna change the color of this one to 232 72a I'm just gonna hit okay I'm gonna hit control J to make a copy control T to bring up the free transform and now I'm just gonna drag this to make kind of a drag this and I'm gonna change the color of this to a darker shade 201 E 23 I'm just gonna hit okay and now I'm gonna use my text tool and I'm just gonna type out the player name that's my my username so I'm just gonna put it right here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this one back to bold that looks pretty good I'm just gonna resize it I'm gonna use the ellipse tool I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna hold shift and alt as I drag out this is going to make it center and proportional so something like this control shift H to get rid of that blue outline that you saw at first or you can just go back to your move tool and uh, it will disappear on its own now uh, make a duplicate of this as well so control J and we're just gonna hide the top one first now for this one we're gonna double click and go to gradient overlay make sure it's on normal and now you just want to select your color gradient so I'm gonna go with a, a green and a kind of a teal color I guess all right so I'm gonna go with that bluish color and you could just mess with the scale if you want there we go all right and uh, just adjust the angle as you as you like it all right now I'm just gonna re-enable this one I'm gonna hit control T hold shift and alt as I drag and just make this one smaller something like that and I'm gonna take this I'm going to control J to make a copy this one I'm just gonna save for a backup so now I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna right click and go to rasterize layer now I'm just gonna drag my ruler to the middle and I could just use my pencil make a shape hold control click on this and go to the circle and hit delete and this will cut it out just like that and um now i'm just gonna put a percentage so like maybe 75 percent and we could put uh level five change this from bold to regular so make it a little bit darker and just put it right right over here and right here you could put the numbers so 100 so there we go Actually, I'm gonna make this just a little bit brighter and uh, just make this one a bit darker as well I'm just gonna resize it alright so now you could just use this and make some make some bars there we go just go ahead and make two actually and uh, duplicate this double click go to gradient overlay adjust the angle so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the red color 
There we go. Um, I feel like this bar is too, too bold, so I'm just gonna slim it down. I'm just gonna copy it, and for this one, and what you could do is, you could actually just right click, rasterize layer style, and if you hit Control U, you could bring up the hue saturation, and you could just change the color this way instead of having to go into the gradient. I see. Don't know what to do for this color. Uh, let's go with the purple. It doesn't matter. Let me just. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take this over here, and just give me a second. And delete the colors. I'm gonna drag this back, and I'm going to resize this. So right over here. I'm gonna take everything here and just put it there. And I'm just gonna resize this. Just group everything up. So just click on the top layer, hold shift, click on the bottom, hit control G. And we can just move it right here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's how you create sort of a profile thing using gradients. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this helps you, make sure you leave a like subscribe for more help us get to 1k and we're gonna do some rendering tutorials i know a lot of people would love to see that so i'm gonna catch y'all later and uh yeah